All right, Solomon. Um, first off, and give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Shah, Bahasim, and Kakudas. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And a sincere Solomon to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing this work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on in this video that you must constantly examine yourself in this truth, in this faith, okay? To see whether you, you know, are really into this thing or not, you know? Just being sincere, you know? Um, whether you're going off, you know, in certain areas, okay? And, and correct it, you know, if must be, okay? Um... We won't know whether or not we are of the elect until the Lord uh, comes and delivers the elect, okay? But um, if you if you examine yourself and you do what you um, must do, then you're, you know, making sure that your calling and election is sore, okay? Um, so I got this right fast, 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. And it says, examine yourselves, right? There's many times you have people who look at, you know, um, other people um, and what they do and what they don't do, you know, try to correct other people. But first, we must correct ourselves, man. Okay. And, you know, I did a video uh, earlier you know, a couple of days ago about repenting, feeling, you know, sorry about the things that we, you know, may have done, you know, but we have to, um, be hard on ourselves, man. You know, um, it says, and, and that comes with discipline, you know, disciplining yourself. Okay. It says to try whether a thing can be done, whether you being saved can be done. You got to examine yourself. Okay. Attempt, endeavor, to try, make trial of, to test for the purpose of asserting his quality, right? You know, the elect are quality, okay? And this thing isn't about numbers. And as um, we look at people coming and going in this truth, it can get kind of scary because you don't want the Lord to take the Holy Spirit away from you. Okay. Um, it says, or what he thinks or how he will, he be behave himself. Okay. We, we're trying to behave ourselves properly, you know, until, you know, your Hawashad comes. Okay. It says in a good sense, in a bad sense, to test one maliciously, craft of, craftily, to put to the proof of his feelings or judgments. To try or test one's faith, virtue, character by enticement to sin. Right? It says to solicit to sin, to tempt of the temptations of the devil. And in this world, there's so many things that, you know, make us go off in many different ways, man. Okay? But we have to continue to look at ourselves, man, and examine, you know, whatever what are our strengths and what are what are our weaknesses and, and ultimately pray that the Lord, you know, keeps us in this thing, man. Okay? That's that's important. It says, of God to inflict evils upon one in order to pr prove his character and the steadfastness of his faith. Okay. It says, men are said to tempt God by exhibitions of distrust as though they wish to try whether he is not justly distrusted. It says, by imp impious or impious or wicked conduct to touch God's just justice and patience and challenge to challenge him is it were to prove to give proof of his perfections now we can't tempt tempt the lord okay <laughs> the lord is perfect okay and you know and the scripture says we need to be perfect like like the lord is 
Okay. So it says, examine yourselves, you know, there ain't nothing wrong with, you know, after, uh, you know, if you're around brothers, you know, you say salakia to, to brothers, if I offended brothers, ain't nothing wrong with that, you know, because you never know, you know, how, who, if a brother may feel some type of way. And if he if he does, uh, you know, a brother could could help you out, you know. And you say you you know you start off with the hey man you know after after camp or you know after getting with with brothers you know salakia brothers you know you know if it's anything I could do better you know that's a part of examining yourself you know the brother make say hey man you you know it's all good you know because it's a it's an understanding thing you know comprehension but you know. Putting it out there, you know, sometimes the saying, you know, Salakia, which is forgive me, could go a long way because you never know how that um, correction, if you did offend someone, could um, could um, help help you out. Okay, see a lot of a lot of times, you know, <laughs> it. You, you you think that that things is cool with, with brothers, but the whole time, it could be it could be you know something that you doing wrong. You know, and the one thing that you know that's just one one example. You don't want to offend brothers. Okay, so so apologizing, you know, could could go a long way. You know, and the Lord sees that. You know, that's a a, a sign of uh, humility. You know, and to make. Make yourself uh, better. Also, the scripture says, confess you your sins one to another. You know, so when we go off, man, we 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 can talk to brothers and say, hey, man, I, I got this problem. And brothers, you know, we pray for one another. Okay? But we have to be able to be, be real with ourselves and know what are our strengths and what are our weaknesses, you know, and be able to communicate that. Okay? So it says, examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith, prove your own selves, right? Try your own self, okay? And a part of uh, trying yourself is, you know, apologizing. A lot of people would have uh, uh, pride because what, what do I got to apologize for, you know? But it's, it's just to throw that out there because you don't want to offend nobody, you don't want to offend a man of the Lord. Okay? And we all know we all got some stuff with us, man. Okay? We all do. Okay? Cuz we all we don't know whether or not we have the elect. We got we un, we in this we getting punished right now. Okay? Now we have came back to to you know this truth, you know? That's why it says, know you not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shah is in you, right? So Yahweh Shah, when he walked on, on the scene, right, he came to do the will of the, the, the Heavenly Father, he came with a, a mission, okay? He came to do business, handle business, and he realized that he had to, one of the reasons why he did those things is because he went off, Okay? If the if the Lord just came on a scene, you know, wasn't examining Himself, what, how do you think this faith would be? You know, the Lord the Lord came on a scene, and He realized that He went off, you know, as Solomon all the uh, past lives, and He tried to, you know, perfect it. Okay. That's one of the reasons why he said, you know, why thou callest me good. There's none, no good except, you know, the, the most high, Yahweh. Okay. But Yahweh size, you know, is in us. And what? Yahweh size, he walked meekly. Okay. Humbly. Okay. So that's how we supposed to walk. 
it, the scriptures um um first corinthians 30 11 and 31 it says for if we judge ourselves we should not be judged yeah i came on the scene gave us you know he's the author and the finisher of our faith he um he walked with with discipline okay we trying our best to to do so you know we have to be able to judge ourselves first. Galatians 6 and 4 says, But let every man prove his own work, and then so he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. You know? So, you know, it goes into, you know, actually getting into this thing, studying, okay, to so that you are approved. Okay? That's just one one of the things, you know, going through certain things and, you know, the trials, the tribulations and, you know, keeping the Lord first. Those are all important things. We don't want to be in this thing like, you know, we made this truth and all that stuff like. That's pride. And you got to have that fear, man. You know, that fear of, you know, getting kicked out, the Holy Spirit getting taken away from you. It's Habakkuk, I mean, Hebrews 4 and 1. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left of us in, of, of us entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. And there are some people who are going to come short of it. Okay. One of the reasons why, because they didn't examine itself, which is important. Hebrews 12 and uh, 15, and I'm going to get 1 John 3 and 20. Look, Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God. Right, so we have to continue to do this thing. Non-stop. You know, just stop being humble. Once you get to a certain point in this truth, we got to continue. Lest, that, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Okay? It says, uh, 1 John 3 and 20, For if our heart condemn us, Yahabashim Yahusai is greater than our heart, which is your heart is your mind. And knows all thing. Right? So you examine yourself and you see, you know, the condemnation that comes along, you know, with examining yourself like, you know, damn, I got, I got a lot of shit that I got to work on, which we all do, you know. Got a lot of things, you know. The word uh, condemnation means the expression of very strong disapproval. Okay? We are we have certain things, you know, that we strongly disapprove of that we do. But how how Basimel Sai is greater to than those things that we 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 have on our spirit, the things that we know that are you know, fucked up inside of us, man. Excuse my language, but you know, that's just how it is. So, you know, if our heart condemns us, you know, disapproves, then you may think like that, man, like I'm going through all this stuff or, you know, certain things is going on or, you know, I got these habits or certain, you know, problems. You know, we like I said, we all have certain things that we can do better on. OK, but the Lord. It says that he's greater than our heart. That's why it says that Yahweh Sah is in us. You you can't get through through the fact that we all have something something that is very highly, you know, disapproved uh, from from the Lord. We all fall short. But but the fact is that we have the Lord here. 
to show us how how much of a God He is, how powerful He is. And saying, he, he knows all things. He already knows what we're going through. Okay, what we what we what we do, how we are. We just have to continue to have faith and to pray. Okay, and to be humble about it, man. Okay. It says, Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence towards Jehovah's So if you, you know, could, you know, examine yourself and there are certain things that, you know, you say, okay, I work, I've been working on this, you know. I, I, I got, you know, good standing with the Lord. You know. You start feeling good about yourself in this thing, but, you know, we we ultimately won't know fully until the Lord shows us. Now he does say you know, in the scriptures, then shall it be known who are my chosen. And that's what we, we what we want to be so that we are of the chosen, the chosen elect. Okay. But examining ourselves, man, is important. I cannot stress that enough. The scripture says that. Okay. So with that, you know, oh, we're going through the uh the the falling from the grace. You got some people that are, you know, dis are disgraceful, okay, because they didn't examine themselves, and that's why the Lord will get rid of those, you know, guys, man, and girls. Okay. But the elect has that grace, you know, and they, you're not, they're not going to uh, let it go to waste. So with that, Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to say shalom till next time.